and being Monday. Cheers, everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm. That dip might have looked really big, but might not have too. Stokers, long cut, blue, mint. Best dip ever made, as far as I'm concerned. All right. So, yeah, it's Monday. And, uh, you know, I, I haven't been on the, on the social medias all too much in the last couple of days. Um, I'm busy doing stuff. That's okay. Um, but I noticed I got a new subscriber late in the night last night. Thank you for your subscription. Uh, I hope you dig the content. I don't know what what led you here, but uh, whatever led you here, I hope that I fulfill your needs in that uh, capacity. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So it's Monday, and um, it's kind of a limbo day here in my world. Uh, you know, I'm kind of getting back on track, checking up on Facebook and checking up on my uh, Warehouse of Strangers group and such. Uh, I've been uh, very busy going through old old tapes, as I've mentioned, uh, finding old unreleased music I've done, old rehearsal tapes I did back in the early 90s, stuff I recorded before I moved to Peterborough, you know, it's uh, really of no interest to many, unless you're a really hardcore fan of what I do, um, it's really of no interest other than to me, I suppose, but uh, it's, it's definitely interesting to amass uh, your body of work, you know. As I've said, I'm a very good archivist, but I'm not very organized, you know, so I'm really good at documenting things. Like, I have documents of stuff I've done back, probably back to night. Well, fuck, no, I found uh, a tape. This tape, <laughs> this tape here uh, is a rehearsal tape of a hardcore speed, hard, like, just a really fast fucking hardcore band. I sang for uh, back when I was 15, I guess. We were called Mind Rage. And, uh, yeah, it was. it's a recording of our, of our, our us rehearsing in the basement of our, our guitar player, Mike, who I'm still connected with on Facebook, which is fucking funny. But, uh, uh, yeah, he's in the music group, too, where I was finished. But, uh, yeah, that's the first rehearsal tape. That's, that's the earliest tape that I likely have of my recorded music is back when I was 1985 uh, singing with a, my my hardcore punk band uh, Mind Rage. We never played a gig. We practiced a lot in the basement, but we never played a gig. But uh, yeah, that was fun to listen to. I could barely like, the, the, I don't know if I can do anything with it because it's all like, it's mostly just guitar. Everything else is kind of worn out. It's an old crappy cassette right you can hear my lyric or hear my vocals you can't understand a single lyric i'm saying but you probably couldn't anyway but anyway i found that i'm very interested about that mm -hmm. finding so many journals of old poems and tour writings i did uh yeah it's it's just been it's been an interesting uh, time when I've had time to do this, uh, to go through the, the stuff I've done over the last few decades, you know. So that's kind of neat. But that's completely self-indulgent and has really no interest to anyone but me. And we're f almost six minutes into the video. All I've done is have a dip and talk about myself in a early artistic way. So... Mm hmm. Happy Monday. Uh, I want to 
I want to give a big shout out to my old friends, uh, Chris and Christina, who had a baby, uh, I believe yesterday morning. Um, I'm not sure of the baby's name. It's either Ricky or Rocky, uh, but I'm not sure. It's a girl. I knew, I do know that much. And it's a beautiful, beautiful baby. And best of all things to Chris and Christina, uh, I wish, I wish you nothing but the best. You are, you're in for an amazing journey. And you don't need me to tell you that, but best of all things. It's amazing. When beautiful children are born and we can uh, appreciate those beautiful children. I have two beautiful children of my own, so they're, uh, they're phenomenal. It's phenomenal being a parent. Being a parent teaches you how to get down to a child's mind level again. You know, it teaches you endurance. Uh... It teaches you, like, endurance and strength and stamina that you never thought you would find in yourself and in places that you never thought you would find it. Uh, I won't go into any of that, but it's 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 incredible uh, when being a parent in the early years of parenthood. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm divorced and separated from, from my family. Now, I do see my kids regularly, and we have an amazing relationship. You know, my son's almost 12 and my daughter's 8 now. Uh, but when they were, I was lucky to be around when they were both babies. And uh, man, it's just I, the best years of my life. You know, those early years of being, being, a, being a father to an infant child. Just phenomenal. Yeah. So big shout out to Chris and Christina and all the best in your, in your future, you got a, you got a crazy long road ahead of you, and, uh, I wish you nothing but the best, so that's, uh, that's an awesome thing, mm -hmm. uh, what else is new, what else is new, I gotta tell you, this dip is fucking perfect, perfect dip, perfect time of day, Anyhow, yeah, compiling all this old music that I'm digging up. And, uh, you know, I'm finding a lot of the tapes that my old band Sophie, the experimental uh, uh, ensemble I played with that I've, I've played music on, for, on here before, uh, that I was involved in in the early 90s. We released uh, 12 full-length recordings on cassette, a uh, couple on CDR, but... Uh, Definitely all on cassette, and uh, I've been digging them up. But the tapes are just fucking chewed. They're a lot of. Them. I'm hopefully I'm hoping to find one a different one because the, the the diversity in each album is incredible. It's it's uh, it's a different bag of tricks every time. You know so that's what we're all about. So. Mhm. Mm and uh, yeah, so I'm looking at all this old music. And, uh, you know, some of it I'm not unhappy with. Uh, some of it I think is all right, you know. And I'm thinking of either relearning the songs or uh, or uh, trying to compile something into an album. Like, I have enough material, old material that I like, that uh, I would put it on, an, on, a, on a, like, an early days album or something, if anyone was interested in that. But... Um, it's funny when you're a when you're an old an old recording music veteran. You know, I've been recording music since 1993. I've been on over over well over a hundred recordings. Uh, you know, and a lot of them in the forefront of those recordings. You know, and one of them even won an award. <laughs> it's you know, but uh, and you know a few of my solo records are have been like critically acclaimed on a very small small level but I'm still kind of, you know I'm very not I'm not well known at all you know and I think I, I will perpetually be a newbie you know uh, I, I, except for the people who've been listening to me for years you know but I think I'm I think I'm so on the low that I will always have that uh, <laughs> the beginner's naivety. I can always, I don't know. I, I always feel like someone will see me as a beginner. You know, uh, that's become apparent in 
in recent months, uh, you know, but it's, it's funny and it's, it's just neat, uh, you know, to be thinking, Hmm, I could compile a, an old days, an early days album and who would the fuck would listen to it? Like, <laughs> like five people, <laughs> but, uh, it's still fun to think about, you know, and, uh, you know, when it comes to recording, um, out, actual stuff I'm actually doing, uh, there is going to be a, a Merkwood. Merkwood's going to be releasing my 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 solo harmonica album soon. That's going to be hated on by the harmonica community. I know it. It's going to be fucking hated on so hard. But it's to me, it's a punk rock album. So thumbs up on that. But they're going to be releasing that soon, and I believe they're also going to be re re kind of re releasing my other blues album uh, at midnight. Call it Doctor. Or my, my original blues album that I did for them, uh, I mean, I call it Doctor. Uh, me playing lap style, slide guitar, and singing old gospel songs. Uh, so that's going to be, that's in the works, uh, which is good. I've had that recording in the can for over half a year. And uh, so it's nice to think that, that uh, I, I can't even remember how it sounds right now, <laughs> you know. But uh, so that's kind of cool. That's very exciting uh, to me. And the five people who will listen to it. <laughs> uh, and I'm also working on a like a clean recording, like a a not a not a gritty bluesy recording, so much as a a clean sounding songwriters album. You know, not like a sensitive snowflakey album or nothing like that, but something more cleaner sounding. Uh more like my my album Broken Chair, uh if you've ever heard that. So yeah, stuff is in the works, and I'm also doing all, I'm working on all kinds of experimental weird shit, which I'm going to be bombarding you with soon, because uh, that's pretty much where my brain is at right now, I'm in, out, way out in left field, so that's the way she goes sometimes, eh, as we say in Canada, that's the way she goes, boys, that's the way she goes, so yeah, that's all good and well, mm-hmm. So happy Monday for the fifth time or whatever. Hope you're having a great day. Major shout out to Chris and Chris and Christina, Chris and Chris for their beautiful baby daughter. And uh, thank you for your subscriptions, your likes, your views, everything. Thank you to whoever subscribed to me last night. I very much appreciate it. And uh, every, every positive thing that happens on this channel uh, helps my channel out. So... And I'm happy to say my like to dislike ratio is back up to 100% likes. So uh, thank you very much for not hating on my stuff. All right. Be well. Stay free. Be the best you that you can be. Don't forget. To be well.